of P95 chipset, 6.43 inch full HD Plus AMOLED screen display, and 4310 mAh and 30 watts VOOC Plus charge 4.0. Victories and dragging up will be easy peasy. Chevrolet sure, live life at full speed with Oppo A94. Ito na ang ating graphic face. Once again, MVP going in from Hong Kong region versus Team Secret Man Galaxy the Philippine region. Can I just say na I really smiled din nakita ko yung bands dito from MVP. Uh, MVP. Darius and Aziggs. That is very smart. So that is a good start sa ating team from Hong Kong region. But Team Secret, they did ban out Camille. They banned out Gragas too. So let's see who will be the first pick for the side of MVP. They could go with the Baron Lane or maybe even a... Well, we've seen Cryo picks ADC. That could happen too. Pwede silang kumuha dito ng isang mid lane. I was right. ADC, they picked Saya up. Virus mm -hmm. Pwede mang Virus Team Secret. Yeah, surprisingly, we're going to be seeing first pick coming in from MVP with that Saya. And nakita naman natin kung gaano din naman itong ka-effective si Saya together with Lacan. Pero sa atin ngayon, ano na eh, hindi na siya, hindi na siya ganun kakailangan talaga ng may Rakan palagi. No? Kahit na maagaw dito ng Team Secret ang Rakan, at least iba sila pumili ng ibang support champion. Pero, they're going to be having uh, Galio para kay Azar dito. I'm not sure if will, the, they will be using itong si Galio as a support or the mid laner for Tatsuri pero knowing how Tatsuri play medyo mas madalas siya pumipili ng mga champion with burst you know burst damage dito compared to Agalio na medyo tanky ng konti mm -hmm. and na uh, MVP they did lock in that Lee Sin and that Oriana but Olaf ang kinuha naman ng team Sikide so let me hover first on this Oriana I like this because may ako na silang isang sure burst plus malibit na CC na champion you have Lee Sin for the isolation for the pickoffs and mukhang kahit nasabi natin na hindi naman required ang lovebirds may lovebirds pa rin dito sa MVP mm -hmm. team Secret they did pick up that Kaisa let's see who will be the last pick para ma-determine natin sa ang lane ba talaga pupunta ang Galio na to that is gonna be a support Galio Tatsuri will be handling this Diana Nako Yoko we have Olaf once again sinabi mo kanina 10% lang yung kanyang win rate dito and we'll see if Team Secret will be able to put up a good fight with that uh, Olaf na gagamitin na naman nila this time wala tayong healing galing wala tayong unkillable uh, comp coming in from their team they have well they have Hamis dito for Galio so support siya and also we have Diana Para kay Tatsuri, nagagamitin niya of course to disrupt the position of the enemy team with that moonfall. So, medyo excited ako sa magiging laban na ito because napakaganda ng lineup sa magkabilang panic dito. Pero lang sa Olaf na medyo questionable. Pero understandable kung anong gano'ng plan na Team Secret dito. Now, going sa ating Game 1, Team Secret vs MVP. Napaka-aggressive ni Hamis doon. But at the very least, they were able to shove yung life bars ni Papa dito way down the thing. Now, at the mid lane, you have Azar jumping in. Galit na galit ang Fiora na to was able to pop the Ignite as well to stop Yazi from holding his ground sa May mid lane. Ngayon, two things. For Sha to play defensively or he will recall. Most likely, he's gonna recall which will give space for Tatsuri to farm the minion way back dito sa mid lane natin. But ngayon, David and Papa, mukhang kalmado lang ating lovebirds dito. Team Secret, they have the early game po. Kaso kasi, ang concern ko dito, pag nag-online dito si Papa, lahat pwedeng pwede niya ikait dito. He can kite on Fiora. He can kite on Tatsuri. So maybe one of the win conditions ng Team Secret dito is not let Papa go online, not let him pop off, but now Pager making his way into the mid lane para matulungan naman si Yazi dito. Yeah, and in terms of playstyle, I would say na hindi ganun kalaki yung gap between these two teams, no? Kasi uh, pareho silang 3-3 sa kanilang respective groups, pero I would say the Team Secret, syempre, would, uh, would have the upper hand dito kasi kaya nang sinabi ni Ames kanina, medyo wala lang sila sa tempo at yung mga mistakes na kinumit nila during the group stage is hopefully hindi na nila makumit ngayong ating playoffs. Kung kahit sa game na ito, we're seeing again a lot of movements coming from Team Secret, pero uh, the map, medyo play it really safe muna dahil we're still at uh, 2 minutes, no? Pagpunta pa lang tayo ng 2 minutes sa ating game. Pero, we're seeing Trevor already going for the bot lane and uh, gonna try to attempt a gank dito because, well, they have the Durand, they also have all of the men. That is true. Oh, that is maybe just a punch being popped by Hamez right there. Tatlo ang nagiintay dito sa May Dragon Lane, and it pretty much forces David and Papa to go back. But that is maybe space created for Team Secret to at least shove dito yung lane sa May Dragon side. Now looking at the Baron Lane, all but was able to keep Azar at bay. He has quite the level lead, so wow. all but can just get all that tankiness or at least yung para mas maging 
Thank you, our sustain yung build niya. Dito ba ito here? Kuna Japin onto. Sanis with their post building. Papa Tiki is just playing under third. Here comes, of course, that is Ibi Tatsuri. Will oh. pumasok. That is going to be the Moonfall Kappa playing as well. And that is going to be the two kills Ooh. going over the Tatsuri. First two kills of the game. Na secure ng team secret dito. MVP, I love the fact that they want to shut down this Fiora. But the problem is they forgot. Pwedeng pwedeng umakit dito si Tatsuri. Look at the lead na meron si Tatsuri dito. 3,000 gold after what happened kanina. Before the team fight and the top lane started, meron na siya dito enough items to be very uh, very uh, effective. Pero, team fight at the bottom Oh, that is going to be the Taunt connecting. And look, malang wawala at malang magagawa dito. Rather, si David. And he is just forced to jump back. Azar does get taken down sa may banner lane doon. But now you have Lee Sin lurking at the sides. May wala pa rin palang moonfall dito si Tatsuri. He cannot go back and at least assist sa may dragon lane. At the very least, Chewie and Hamas still pretty comfortable. Mabilis naman ang wave. Ganyan na dito. Yazi just jumping it out with that orb. Already popping that command protect. And MVP, they are getting the better footing this time around. Yun ang pwedeng gawin din nila. Mm. Try to maybe focus on Azar and just keep on pressuring Hamas. And Chewie to the point na hindi sila makakaalis sa kanilang turret dito. Item check right now. There is quite a ver very small lead lang naman when it comes to the gold for the side of MVP. And this is individual, but overall, Team Secret, they still have a 2k gold lead. The Dragon is gonna be up in 6 more seconds. Hamis Nanjun na already giving the scuffler a start. Okay, Bort, kinuha na nga dito. That is gonna be the judgment being popped right there. Pero nagigiwalay naman dito ang Team Secret ang laban. But Trevor being pressured right there. He was forced to flash out. Hamis was forced to flash out too. Two flashes already down before they could even touch the Dragon. That does not spell good for Team Secret. But now you have Tatsuri. He is gonna try and duel Oriana up. Yazi receiving a lot of damage. The Shockwave mm -hmm. has been popped as well. Pero mukhang nakukuha naman dito na MVP ang ating unang dragon which is the Infernal Dream. Ooh, wow. Wow. A crescent strike coming from Killing Tatsuri dito to secure that kill. Killing spree indeed. No? Again, na free dito yung uh, dragon in the hands of MVP because well, medyo na, na pressure kagad si Trevor. Super low na kagad yung dalawang members of Team Secret and napagamit pa siya ng Flash plus Ragnarok. Which is a good thing for MVP right now. Pero 1v1 in the top lane. Your post beam pop right there. You also have to jump in for the for Hamish. Let us see the towns connecting as well. And see si Hamish na nga nakasecure ng kito. I was actually looking forward to Fiora getting that kill. But mukhang he was very low. He opted to just get the heals in. Now that is going to be a jump in from Tatsuri. Can I just say na? Gigil na gigil si Tatsuri in this game. Looking at that, Diana, 3-0, 5 minutes in, he already has that Roa. Will be a huge help for Team Secret later on. But MVP, I'm really... Oh, it's not a Seraph's Embrace for Oriana. But anyway, the town's connecting. Bila pumalag, bila bila knockups as well. That is gonna be two, three champions already charmed. But walang pakailam dito ang Team Secret. Kill, killer Instinct papasok. Void Seeker not gonna connect. But wala pa yung casualties for the side of MVP. Imagine if itong si Tatsuri ay umuwi na anytime at the moment. Aside from a lot of ages, ano pa kaya ang item niya pwede niya buuin dito? This could be a Rabadon's death cap knowing how uh, uh, yung mga players dito sa ating region play the game. You know, they burst sila dito. Hindi sila nag attack speed na Diana, no? After nila mag-rowa, nag-erect na kagad sila sa Rabadon's death cap. Which is what we're seeing right now. Naka-needlessly large rod na kagad siya. Isa. And then a uh, Mystic Tome. Of course, for more AP bursts damage kasi doon na sila magre-rely sa moonfall niya eh. pero there's gonna be Dirit Herald going up na mga ibigyan in this game so it seems like uh, MVP has the upper hand pagdating sa position pero slowly we're seeing the gap na nagko-closing in na for Team Secret Yup, MVP really giving it their all. So, sabi ni Figure, chill lang muna kayo dyan. Kuha lang muna ako para magka-goal yung magka-EXP ako. But you have Rakan and Saya. They are quite near the Rift Herald. And I like how they will try and pressure Tatsuri. Dito lang si Moonfall connecting Papa. Ooh, that was an ash as TVD. Grand Nature being Papa as well. He does get rooted. But Tatsuri is just surviving just fine. No casualties still. Tatsuri is still up. He does not have Ignite though. But ngayon, Pagor, tsaka si Yazi. Medyo nag-aambahan sila dito sa May Rip Herald. You also have the teleport being secured by Tatsuri. But ngayon, pabalik na dito. Papasok na. He does not have Moonfall though. But let's see kung ikokontest ng MVP. Tapos may the connecting. David nakapasok dito sa tatlo. Sa apat ba't lang si Team Secret. They could try and focus or they could play this out safely. Tumalon dito si Hames. Tumama sa sahig. That is the just just was being popped as well. Tapos nag-shockwave dito sa, I don't know, sa ere. But that is gonna be all but jumping in. He did receive 
received quite the damage, but sabi nila, okay, back away. Um, can I just say that was a that was a very messy team fight. I did not know what was ha what was happening. Weird ultimate screen there that is gonna be like Caterin Dream Pop. Major na pa don si Pagor. Fiora does get bursted down. That is gonna be Trevor just going back and all but is gonna go with the recall. Medyo konting hits nala ang ang natitira para sa first outer turret sa bar lane dito. Yeah, in, in the commitment coming from Azar dito to take that first turret, turret medyo mag naging mas uh, malalim pa para sa kanya dito no ending medyo nagkaroon sila ng uh, unfortunately ay casualty in that situation at dahil doon mukhang naging one pa yung nakaisang kill pa dito ang MVP but team secret si Bolt get referral so okay lang din para sa kanila kahit pa ano pero yung again yung matagal na pagstay doon ni Azar and even in that team fight nakita natin yung kanyang pagiging ano no ano, medyo safe muna siya hindi siya ganoon ka-confident na pumasok with Fiora uh, currently sa situation niya ngayon meron pala siyang tinitip force he needs more item para maging very much uh, effective yes. sa laban na ito pero we're gonna be seeing second Drake mga kaibigan para sa ating second objective dito which is very interesting as well kasi ito na naman yung ating team fight na kailanganin dahil meron na isang dragon dito ang MVP Team Secret can at least, you know, try to give the pressure dito and, you know, the, yung pagbigay ng pressure na makuha nila or maagaw nila dito yung second dragon of the game. Someone popped that proto belt in the mid lane. I was not able to see kung sino yon, but that is quite a sad usage of this proto belt. But here comes MVP. Pumasok si Hamez. Nagtapon lang ng ere dyan. Red Team already summoned their herald here at the mid lane. They could leave that in the mid lane and then try to get Dragon or samahan nila dito that is gonna be all but coming in with the judgment. Inuntog yung repelot yung ulo niya dito sa mid turret but that is gonna be a quite mm -hmm. a scrimmage that is gonna be the kick connecting. Nakapuha hindi nakagalaw dito si Kuya Mohamed. He does get through that is gonna be the first to be secured by MVP but eto na nga that is gonna be the Ragnarok being popped by Trevor defensively yet again Tatsuri is falling down as well. Isa na ang casualty scheme sa Team Seeker but looks like they do not want to commit any further. Chewie at the very least could oh, get no. this turret pero kumukha ang nakita siya. He does have Killer Instinct and he does have Flash already popping in with that Flash on the third Sumasayo but Chewie does get taken down by this Saya. He didn't even risk to try yung gamitin yung kanyang Killer Instinct dito no? kasi medyo, low, medyo talagang super low na siya dito and they could have even used yung kanilang Flashes for to secure that kill. So that's gonna be a turret being taken down or rather that the Dragon being Ouch. taken down by MVP. Isang talon, pero you have the shields coming in from David. Wag mong lapitan ang girlfriend ko, but mo kang nakuha pa kaya ni Tatsuri. Lee Sin was able to secure that Cloud Drake rampage coming over for Tatsuri. Can I just say na Team Secret? Even though they were losing the skirmishes, they still have the turret takedown lead. They still have the gold lead. But MVP sila pala ang nakakuha ng dragons for this game. Maybe Team Secret, they are leaning more sa objective game. That's why we're not seeing the very aggressive team that we're used to. But if that works for them, then I guess it is what it is. Well, masabi ko lang MVP, they are just waiting for their time to go online. They're waiting yeah. for the champions to pop off. Tapos after noon, pwedeng pwedeng na sila makipaghamunan sa Team Secret dito. Yes, that is true. No? And speaking of paghihintay nila na mag-online, na surprising din nakikita natin na uh, even in the current situation, lamang pa rin si Azar, no? Go, uh, looking at the gold lead na meron siya dito against kay All, but well, understandable what is happening right now. Talagang nakafocus itong si Azar sa pag-split pag push and not more on the oriented, uh, I mean team fight oriented yung kanyang strategy dito. And which is, I think, mamaya mag-work on in favor of Team Secret. But right now, they have to group up together habang katulad doon nangyari team fight in the mid lane dito napabayaan nila na medyo malayo-layo yung ibang members ng team secret at nahuli si Hamis dito in that particular team fight once again nakita natin na medyo talagang matatangin ang gusto si Hamis dito so medyo at least nagkaroon siya ng enough buy time para sa kanilang team pero yun nga lang hindi na nag-decide ang team secret na pumasok doon we have the Baron already there pero inabang lang nilang mabuti just uh, playing it really safe again we have the vision control coming from team secret because napakalalim ng kanilang mga wards dito Gaya nga sabi ko kanina sa series number 1 na nanakal yung mga deep wards ng teams natin dito really make sure na hindi makakagalaw yung katapat nila but mukhang I'm still waiting for a good play from Trevor dito but I understand na Olaf early game not that good but it is safe to, safe to say na medyo mid game towards the late game na he needs to stop popping the Ragnarok defensively and he could just stay at or be there at the front line alongside Hamez but ngayon, 11, almost 12 minutes in, mukhang Team Secret, they are still camping this one out sa May Baron area. Hamez nagtatago alongside Chewie, but nakita sila dito ng mahiwagang orb ni Oriana.
Yeah, Yasi, Gen, and then man, just playing it really safe at this point of the game. They're more focused on uh, sa pag farm dito, pero all but 1v1 versus Tatsuri. Ooh, the burn from Tatsuri. Apparently, he does not care. It's fine. He is pretty tanky on this, Diana. He was able to snowball. Teleport oh, no. coming in for a Baron. Makukuha ba ito ng MVP? The answer is maybe no. But at the very least, mukhang magma-minus one dito. MVP pumasok pagkila dito. Yazi was not able to survive Ooh. that one. Pero instead, he was actually able to take out Azar. Rakan does get taken out as well. One for one in favor of no one. Baron slain sponsored by Globe. And the Baron is in the go over Team Secret. At the very least, mayroon namang four champions na may Baron buff dito. They can still trade this to something good. They can still fight. Pumasok si Tatsuri. Nagwawala ang Diana na to. But Rakan alongside this field. Yazi alongside Lee Sin rather was able to get out of their alive. So clear na lang muna na minion wave dito si May Mid Lane. Yes, I really like how Team Secret is adapting to the playstyle of Amiya and Esports. No? Again, lagi ko minimension na ganito maglaro ang Amiya and Esports. When it comes to taking that Baron initiative, no? hindi yung iba is just waiting doon na nagbibait lang sila. Pero Team Secret hindi sila nag-hesitate dito. They just really wanted to get that Baron. Tapos hindi sila naghintay or nag-check ng mga... Uh, because they have the advantage. Medyo malalim yung kanilang mga wards dito. Kaya nilang ipilit na makuha itong Baron dito. So if ever na magkaroon sila ng casualty, magpwede naman sila mag-back away. Kung kaya talaga pinirit lang nila at pinush nila na makuha yung Baron dito. With that, they have the Baron buff and the damage as well coming from Platsuri. Ay, ito pa rin yung damage na hindi mo pwedeng nakuha lang. Totoo, kaya, kaya siguro MVP, they want to play it very safe. Tapos sinusunod lang ni Yazi dito kung saan man lane pupunta si Diana. But the next dragon, the Ocean Drake, is now up. Team Secret, they are slowly pressuring. Pinapalit nila dito ang mundo ng MVP. Trevor along with Azar is focusing on getting a third semi Baron lane. Wala na pong outer threats dito sa Baron lane side. All but, yes, you're able to win the skirmishes. Yes, you are very tanky. But ano lang gagawin nyo pag wala ng turret? Hindi na mag respawn ang turret na yan. And Team Secret, well, Hamez and Chewie in particular, is just gonna focus on getting that other outer turret to the mid lane. And for the side of MVP, they only have one turret down, which is may Baron lane, Baron outer turret sa side. Yes, and right now, seeing that the dragon is open, mukhang ito yung first dragon na makukuha ng Team Secret dito. Gaya ng sinabi mo, Uh, Team Secret is, is uh, slowly pinapalit yung mapa ng MVP dito no? and uh, it's reflecting properly na hindi sila makagalaw na maayos they just wanna focus on defending the uh, you know clearing out showing yung mga lanes dito so nahihirapan mag-decide ng Team Secret kung I mean rather ang MVP kung saan sila dapat mapag-take ng objective dito getting all those uh, shove lang ng lanes currently isa pa lang ang turret na nakikita nila tapos sa Baron lane pa That is true. Oh, wait. Mukhang si... Resulting in actually yung performance ito ni David so far. He would use Grand Entrance as Face Check as well as yung mahiwagang Feathers ni Rakan. See, right there. Right there on cue. Para ma-check kung nandun si Hamez or maybe si Chewie or maybe si Trevor. Well, Hamez was near Trevor noong time na yun. And Tatsuri, nagpo-focus lang talaga siya on clearing out the waves. No, malapit lang siya or may pick off lang siya if anyone is gonna try and go to where he is. Ngayon, Tagor, he has GA. But he wants to play this one out safely. Item check muna tayo. Huge ouch to Diana, honestly. But also, Chewie on this Kaisa has Bork, has IE, has Static Shiv as well. So, medyo pinapatagal ng both teams natin yung game na to. But hindi pinapatagal ni Tatsuri ang buhay dito ni Yazi. And she, well, he, well, or Yana, she was forced to go back. MVP, naghahanap pa rin siya. They're grasping all these trusts. Ano ba sila kakapalin na ba ang dapat nilang gawin? They have damage. They can go with the pickoffs. And I really highly commend na kumuha sila with the pickoffs. Yep, and Azar is slowly responding here sa upcoming team fight dito. Duran didn't connect to anyone. Hames, going ready to save? Oh, naku po. Bulong tumalang dito. Last will be the first one going over to MVP because now wala si Tatsuri dito. Naku po. Look at the damage that Saya is shoving. She is very safe. Hames forced to flash out. Pero si Trevor hinahabol dito ni Saya. Naka-double kill na din. That is gonna be a 3 to none in favor of MVP. And they will be able to get this Baron. At the very least, Hamas and Chewie could shove yung wave dito sa may Dragon Lane para makuha yung inhibitor turret sa loob. But looks like they were able to recall in time. Baron Slane sponsored by Globe still going over to MVP. And ito ang sinasabi ko. Late game, the Wombo combos, Papa popping off. It is a huge problem sa Team Secret ngayon. 
Yeah, this is not going good for Team Secret. No, now we'll see Azar, uh, coming from the from the Dragon Link kani na to respond in a bound fight dito. And medyo na palalim din na pagpasong ni Tatsuri don. So medyo naging problematic ito ang turn ang uh, turn of events na nangyari for MVP uh, for uh, Team Secret. And maganda din yung follow up coming from the members of MVP dito. Slowly nakabawi sila don and closing the gap. And I think siguro mas magandang naging strategy dito ng Team Secret is just to just do, do a split push. Kasi ang problema right now, Azar, wala siyang teleport. Naka-Hextech portable siya. Yep, oh, Hagar, that is gonna hurt, but he does have the shield screen there. Azar popping in with the belt para lang makapag-mamba out. Ngayon, MVP sila na ang lumalapit sa base ng Team Secret. I'm not sure if Larry will be able to defend this, but you now have Hames. Hames does not have the ultimate just yet. Tatsuri keeping Garen at bay. Wala mo na mag-speed push dito. Tatsuri has the most burst as maybe Papa just coming in with the kites. Was not able to target Azar though, but ngayon, Chewie alongside Hames, they are stuck in their base and MVP. They are just waiting para makuha ang last outer turret here at the mid lane. So now, it is even. The turret takedowns are even and 2k gold lead na lang ang Team Secret. If we're gonna talk about the kill count lead, it is going over to MVP because they were able to get Pirate and because they were able to get the two dragons. While Team Secret only got one and that is maybe the Ocean Drake path. But ngayon, try boy, recall na lang muna. Um, Team Secret, they need to pull themselves together. If they keep playing like this, MVP yung mananalo ang dito sa game number one. But MVP, they really earned the lead that they have right now. Again, this Rakan, Fager even, being able to isolate si Trevor, being able to isolate si Chewie. Those good micros that just helped their team a lot. And now Elder Mountain Dragon is up. Team Secret would look into getting this. But tingin naman nila Fager that is maybe a Sonic Wave connecting. I don't think he is gonna jump in. Ngayon Trevor, malayo, siya, malayo pa siya sa team niya. And nasabi ko to nung group stages eh. If Trevor cannot secure objectives, it's gonna be a huge problem for Team Secret. Yeah, and right now, isang maling, uh, isang baron buff lang ang nakawa ng MVP and instantly nag-close na yung gap natin dito. Same na ang ating turret difference. Oh, that is gonna be a jump in coming in from Rakan. Grand Entrance did connect, but he did go back to his teammate. Azar is gonna go with the jump in. You have the first of the is gonna connect as well. But here comes Hamas to Masok Bigla dito. And that is gonna be all but receiving all of that ultimate brown kapo na kapag shaker din dito si Orans may backline. Killing me coming over pa kay all but dito. This is a pretty, pretty different team fight. But that is gonna be a lot of kills going over to MVP. Dalawa na ang down. Nag flash in, nag flash out. Trevor popping in with the undertow, but it is not gonna be enough given that. At wala pa rin namamatay sa side ng MVP dito. Aside from the clash, now you have Fager, now you have Papa. We'll be able to secure this Elder Mountain Jig. Non-contested ba? Let's wait and see. Hinahawag pa rin si Trevor dito. Oh no, he already popped at Ragnarok. Will he be able to survive? The answer is maybe yes. And now you have Chewie trying to go, to go up against this Garen. Blue team slaying the Elder Mountain Dragon. All but just looking at the sides. And Baron Nasher is now up. Uh, again, the frustration, I understand what is happening in Team Secret right now. Medyo, medyo malungkot sila dito sa nangyari. The turn around sa mga kaibigan. And in that particular team fight, what happened in the mid lane, medyo iba-iba sila ng target dito. Actually, hindi siya medyo. Talagang iba-iba sila ng target dito. They're spread out. Not evenly sa laban na yun. And we have to take note kung gaano ka-effective itong MVP pagdating sa mga solo kills dito. The quickness, crowd control na meron sa kanila, sa team nila dito, is going really effective in their favor. And yung maliit, yung small window of that crowd control na meron ng MVP is the opportunity para sa kanila na makabawi ng mga teamfight dito. At yun ang kulang ng Team Secret. They only have what? Yung... Moonfall, only the Moonfall and the Durantas, yung, uh, yung ating heroes entrance. That's the only CC na meron ng Team Secret. Also, there are times na Hamez would just pop the ultimate in the in awkward spaces, awkward areas. Tapos si All, but nakakapag-push back din siya ng mga members ng Team Secret dito. I'm okay. Yung dalawang, ikaw nagsabi na yung dalawang Adonis dancers natin naghahabulan lang. Making their way around the map, making sure na hindi makakapag-recall si Hamez dito. But apparently that has been MVP pressuring yung top part, barn part ng map dito. And now, they are at the mid. Nabutasan na nga ang base dito sa may team. You realize na biya heat crow connecting on the Tatsuri. Napakasakit ng damage and that is gonna be the feather storm being popped. Nag-ultimate din si Tatsuri but that is gonna be a lot of kills going over to MVP. And again, the GA being popped. Nagkakaisik si Chu 
actually dito and he was able to get a kill he does pop stages he was able to at least survive that one but joke lang is a prank naka double kill bigla dito si papa now they are targeting Sheber and that is gonna be it but they do not have the wave just yet but 